Okay, so this load data is for my Savage Model 12 1 and 7 twist using IMR 4895, pretty common powder, 50 grain VMAX, pretty common slug, CCI 400, I'm not even using the bench rest primers for this, which I normally do use. I was trying to use as, as easily and common components as I could find. And with further ado, let's get started. I started off at 24.5 grains of IMR 4895. And oh yes, the, the, the coal on all these is 2.292 on my rifle, which is about 8 thou off my lands. So 24.5 netted me this result. About 3,000 feet per second. Good start for 50 grains. Here's 25 grains, both of these. They're about 3,100 feet per second, give or take. 25.5. Not exactly fantastic. I really wasn't expecting much beyond this point. That was about 3,200 feet per second. And then, uh, then I hit jackpot. This is 26 grains. Not bad. That's pretty much where I wanted it to be. Uh, I can't really say too much more about it. One sub, one sub MOA comfortably, 0.7, and the other one 0.36. I can't argue with that load. It's at just a little over 3,200 feet per second, all the way up to 3,270 in both cases, which is tons of velocity for a 50 grain VMAX. I could do something with that. And then just above it, to 26.5, I was doing it all in 0.5 grain increments. This is what I got, which again isn't too, too bad. It certainly could handle a bit above, a little better than the lower velocities. And that was in the mid 3300 feet per second ranges. This was almost a compressed load. It was just scrunching the powder down just ever so slightly as I push the slugs in the case. So to go much beyond that you would definitely be into a compressed load and be incredibly cautious, particularly being that close to the lands. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to press up a good 50 of these and do more extensive testing and make sure this is reliable data and I'll make sure I do a little video of that. In addition I think I will go 25.8 grains of IMR 4895 and then on the other scale do 26.2 grains of IMR 4895 and I might push it another another couple thou closer to the lands I might as well get it right right close to it but not on it just to take that variable out and try that data out so there you have it not a bad little load using common components. I'm pleased to find it. It's the second time I've been in the 26-ish grain area on a powder and gotten really good results. So maybe I should use that as a starting point a little more often just because. But anyway, as always, work your loads up. If you got a Savage Model 12, 1 in 7, probably even a 1 in 9, you're going to be in that that rough area of powder and hit an accuracy node. So there you go. Have a good day.